just when a piece of news gets reported and you're reporting it, another one breaks. So this is what happens with the MLB hot stove. It gets hot for a bit, then it cools off, then it gets hot. But there's so many guys that are still out there that haven't been signed or traded and whatnot. Things are going to continue to happen along the way. So I don't want you to miss any of it. So if you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing to the channel so you're in the loop on everything. Okay? And I like to give it to you up to date as well. So right now, Gene Segura, former Mariner who was traded to the Phillies, who last year batted, what did he bat? Two... 77, 10 homers, 33 RBIs, 13 stolen bases. But he had some clutch postseason hits, and he played serviceable in a solid second base and shortstop uh, for the Phillies. He signed a two-year, $17 million deal with the Miami Marlins, so he's staying in the National League East. This, to me, is like a value signing. I think the Marlins are going to make a couple more, and they tend to do this, right? Late in the offseason, they'll get a couple guys who are kind of lurking around who have been pretty solid, and they, and they need bats, okay? I still expect them to probably make a trade. Now, my question is was he going to play? Is he going to play short or second? If you play second, does that open up an opportunity for them to trade Jazz Chisholm, who would be fetched him a haul in a trade, right? But it's it's confusing to me too, is why they would trade a great dynamic offensive player when they need offense. So I don't know. But could they come up pull up with a blockbuster? I mean, there's been talks about them having dialogue recently with the Baltimore Orioles about uh, revolving Cedric Mullins. So could they pull off something like a Jazz Chisholm and a Pablo Lopez to the Orioles for something like? Cedric Mullins and Anthony Santander for a couple more pieces attached on both sides or whatever. That could be a monster trade. And again, it would address needs on both sides. So I mean, it's just food for thought. But Segura going over to the Marlins, I think, is, is a nice little move for them. I think there's going to be a couple more signings like that, uh, in that on that team. So I expect them to do this. And again, this is something that they're kind of known for. Kind of just waiting around, being quiet, and uh, just striking. When, when somebody like this they find who can have some, have some value is available and still hasn't been signed yet. So and we're still seven or eight weeks away from from spring training. So again, there's a lot more moves that are going to happen. But I expect the Marlins to make more moves. And yeah, I think they're going to try to be a little bit more competitive in the National League East. I mean, the, the Braves are loaded. The Phillies are loaded. Okay, the Nationals, not so much. So I think it leaves, this, it leaves room open for these guys. The Mets obviously are loaded too. So you got a three-headed monster at the top of the NL East. But you have a team like the Marlins who just kind of trying to crawl their way back up and be competitive again. So we'll see what happens. But that's the move right now. They brought in Gene Segura. And again, I think he'll be a reliable, solid player for them. So when he's got NL playoff uh, what do you, experience, he had a clutch game-winning hit or go-ahead hit for the Phillies against the, I think it was the Cardinals in the postseason this year. So um, he can deliver in the postseason as well. So and I know the Marlins are working their way and trying to hope to get back to the postseason. But it's going to be really hard to get past that three-headed beast up top. But... Anything is possible. Anything is possible. I mean, the Orioles missed the postseason by one game. And who would have thunk the Orioles would have been that good last year? So things are going to happen like this. I we at least expect it. But that's that's the other piece of news. I just put uh, put a video out on the Yankees trading Lucas Lickie to the Braves and the package they got in return. That's down below. And there's a couple other videos that, that I put out down below as well. Um, and don't take a look at them. I hope you find them enjoyable. And uh, I will keep it coming one way or another, but that's the news right now. And sometimes it just comes in spurts. Then it gets dry, and then it comes in spurts, and that's exactly what's going on right now. So I'll keep it coming, gang. Have a great night, and I'll talk to you next time.